you know, the more I look at that beige bit of, oh, I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be edging, isn't it, for hiding cables, but it's far too big. Don't actually reach all the way to the end. I'm just thinking I might just put a bit of trunk in because there's nothing actually beyond that anyway. Let's take that down and put, put my own, stick my own stuff up. I've got some clear sealant anyway like this. So I'm put it along the bottom. Just, why do you put beige in? All the rest of it's this nice grey colour. Just bizarre. <laughs> So as an FYI, we are at Camping de la Pacine here at the tip of this arrow. That's more or less where that's pointing. What we are doing this time is taking a very long drive, which you don't normally do, to a place called Paulick. And it's probably because we went there the first time we ever went abroad. And we just thought we'd go back and just see what the weather conditions are like when you get there. As you can see, two and a half hours. Now this neck of the woods also doesn't disappoint because just look at some of the architecture and when you get up on top of that bridge they're building boats because this is the harbour of St Nazia. And looking just to the right over the barrier we start seeing an awful lot of caravans and then suddenly realise this is the biggest traveller site I've ever seen. It's huge! Now seeing that service station does remind me we haven't stopped for a while and we need a wee. However, I don't think I was expecting this level of comfort. For the bridge and the services meant we were not very far away from our end destination. And once again, free parking. And this is where all the arrows take you down this road. And that is the entrance down there to the harbour side. But you can walk all the way down the side of that. And then to the harbour wall entrance little restaurant over there and then presented with this we'll follow this path and end up the shops you see we are just down a little bit from Brittany and uh, apart from those couple of wispy clouds you just saw the weather down there is quite a bit warmer So I suppose next time we might investigate going a little bit further south. Uh, not too shabby this place, is it? Got fish and chips. Quite a long way to come for lunch though, Steve. Quite a long way to come for lunch, yes. But we have had a bit of good news. Well, our son managed to get Taylor Swift tickets. Yeah, tell me if you're into was. Taylor Swift, I'm yeah, loyal. We're not, deal. but he's into it. But it was on the news this morning, wasn't it? He's with only 332,000 of whatever in the queue. Yeah. But anyway, gone. For a concert for next year. Yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? So, of course, you could take the train. Though it looks like a bit of a train stop. It's the train station, is it? Wow. Here now, as an aside, we went into a local supermarket nearby, obviously on the way home, but look at all the mist coming out on all this fruit and veg. Obviously they uh, have a little bit more attention to detail than we do in, our, in the UK. One thing I love to do when we're on holiday is to visit a local market. And so early one morning we make the half hour drive to Pont Labbe, park up, walk past this yellow door and head for bagpipes? Is that really bagpipes? Mm, look at that. before nine o'clock in the morning. Nice to visit. Really glad I don't live here. Because that's obviously where the market is, if you can hear me over the noise. 
Yeah, come on. The bagpipes are wearing a bit thin now. Let's get down to shopping. Oh, look, it's a London cab. And they got this thing about knives. You, this is obviously where you get them sharpened. In a rather old fashioned but somehow modern way. Talking about old fashioned, what are these wearing on their heads? I don't know, it's like some kind of like lace tube affair. I think it must be a national dress. None of this, of course, stopped us buying a fair amount of stuff we definitely didn't need. Oh, not them again. Look, we, let's go up here right the way. And up here, we stumble on the foodie bit with some gastronomic delights, really interesting to look at. But on the way back, we came across some rather unusual sights, including this lady and, ooh, fancy a tattoo. Or, even better, what about a little drive? But as we do, whilst we're looking for something to buy and take home, we come across this little shop, obviously overlooking the harbour. But Bruno ran it, and he actually makes everything in store. And so, having had our wallet lightened even further, that's enough for today. Oh, how about a trader on the back of your bike with a dog in it? Yes, that is a sheep dog. Um, we've got a couple of hours that. Oh, sorry, you caught me. And um, look, they do mint nougat. It's not mint, it's pistachio. The trip that we were going to do yesterday, we're going to do today. They call it Pont du Raz. Now, we have been here, but it was many moons ago, and I think it was right at the beginning of caravanning life with probably not a lot in the way of photography and things like that, but this is brilliant. So, they even have um, shops and toilets and a restaurant <laughs> all on the place where we're going to and this is only an hour and a bit away from where we are so uh, we'll see you when we get there also anywhere that's got a name like that is certainly worth an investigation it just <laughs> what a name we are going to plug off look at that so got that parking says camping cars are banned. Really? Yeah. Doesn't look very banned to me. <laughs> so obviously good for surfing down there and before you know it a couple of chicanes later we find ourselves at the car park. Well we finally arrived at Pont de Raz. Um, as you see it's a big car park. Um, it's... With very tight turns into it. Yes. Yeah. But it's a ticket job to get in and you pay to get out. Yeah, you pay on exit or on sortie. There we go, we have blue sky, shops and somewhere to eat. And right at the end there's this indoor little, I don't know, what, per harvester type thing. No. It's really nice. It's, it's it? got a bit of character compared to the others, which are pretty bog standard. I'd recommend this one. If you go all the way around the horseshoe, it's the last one. So, very good. Coke to order stuff. And they do have their own Coke here. It's called Rise Cover. Very nice now. So, right, don't worry about that when you see it. But this is fantastic food. Right, are you ready to walk it off? Here we go. That's better. Decent mics on now. That's Ponderas. Do you want to go boat road? Oh yeah, we want to stand by that sign. We stood by that sign, didn't we? Don't All know if us. it was that sign or not. Yeah, it was absolutely 100% was that sign. So that's a walking one. 15 yeah. minutes walk it says on there. Yeah. That's better. New wood, blue sky to boot. All calling to each other. Huh. Well, look, you can see a bit of sea over there. Yeah, what a lovely view that is. Yeah, 
see that thing is now coming into view. You come in. Taking it easy, it's a lot longer than people think. And as there's no rush, I get my green fingers out and is that all kids? But hey, what do I know about flowers? They're pretty anyway. That's got to be a naval military base, that. Well, the top of it's like, shaped like a ship anyway. Made it to the car park at the end, look. But that's not for mere mortals, the car park. No. So, oh, there's a dog in there, look. Yeah, right, is this a military dressed. car park? How to say so. He's dressed in military uniform. They'd probably tie you off for filming. Well, he didn't, but it is against the law. Well, there is a statue on top. What's this it's a statue too? It's the Getty statue. Getty. Opened in September, Notre Dame Day. And in the background, sorry, I wasn't able to video too much because they had the uh, photo police in that building. And away from the statue, oh, look at that view. Like good little precious people, we wait our turn. What's that? Oh, it's a gun turret. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, the nice people that were there did take our photo. And quite rare that is to get both of us in one. It's quite a sight, isn't it, Fiona? Yeah, it's really nice here. Really peaceful in a strange kind of way. Although the sea's bashing away at the bottom. They don't have much thought to health and safety here, do they? No, uh, I mean, the, the, the path is very good, to be fair. To here, really? Yeah. I don't know that I want to be clambering over those rocks to get to the edge. Some people obviously are. I mean, look, look at that over there. Zoom in on it. There you go. Look, look, people right at the top of the house, man. You can zoom in further. Look, that's the farthest I've seen people go, is that? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder where they're sailing to. I wonder where that speedboat's going. Water. Are they? Yes. Yeah, look, I can actually see in my glasses. I wonder what they were looking at. Look at that. Okay, that one to go away. Look, I'll zoom in. Little piles of rocks. If you think of the Great Wall, uh, or the, the greatest raid of all, sorry, that would have been farmer thrice. You, you would have had to come past here, round to Sentinels there, round there. That was great. Anyway, let's get back. So was that a nice walk? Got a t-shirt? Yeah, which I'll do for tomorrow. Right, and how much was that then? Eight, uh, it's a standard fee for a car, eight euro for the day. And is it, can you pay by card or yeah. in cash only? No, pay by card, no cash. Oh cool, even neither. Right, okay, and it uh, looks like it's that way to go out. And here we trundle all the way down to the, uh, what's this? 
What's this? Oh, not roadworks. Well, I hope this is gone tomorrow. That is going to be quite a challenge with the caravan on the back. But anyway, back on site. Oh, look, a nice game of... Now, is that baton or something else? You know what to do. Please like, subscribe and hit the little bell.